Okay, now we're going to show you the uh, the green jacketed shell that goes on the outside. Uh, Dave, you want to go ahead and explain this first solid unit? Yep, this side, this this is going to be the back side of the, the boiler. Um, there's no openings, nothing. It's a solid back. So this will be the back side, and we'll go over to the next one. Now that's the opposite which, side of this panel right here. Which is self-explanatory. You got your three ports on top for your well. You got your fire door, and then you have your ash door. If you notice that we have a little door sitting down there, um, we're in the process of discontinuing them. Um, one of the two reasons why, um, the new boiler design that comes ASME and UL certified, um, they will no longer fit. And number two is nobody ever uses them because when you do put them on, it uh, insulates the fire door, which in return gets real hot and, and end up burning yourself if you're not very careful with it. Um, now when you do install these jackets, you do got to trim out the insulation. What we do is we'll show you when we put the, the jacket onto the, the boiler is we'll hold it up against the boiler and just take a razor blade and trim out the square. And then here we'll just do X's and then just push it out of the way to slide the, the fittings in. Now um, that would pretty much be it for the, the fire door side. And then if we come over to here, you have two pieces which will be for the top. Um, then you'll see how you have a, a medium size, a large size, and then two smaller sizes right here. Um, you'll notice when you put them on the boiler which way they're going to go. Not hard. Um, once you slide them together, there's a screw hole here which will get screwed into the lips here. You have three lips and they get screwed in there. And then um, pretty much that's it for the top. And then we'll come over to here. Now the top's not insulated. No. The, the all the other insulated. sides are insulated. And then here is the hopper end where the unit will go. The unit will go here again. What we'll do is we'll put this up to the boiler and we'll use a razor blade to cut out the insulation. And then for the hopper bolts, we'll use the X mark and slide the, push that out of the way. And pretty much done with that. That large opening is where the stoker fits up into the uh, uh, into the boiler, bolts onto the boiler, and then the hopper sits above the stoker. And you must install the jacket before the unit, or you will not get the jacket over the unit. Okay. And then over here is our final piece, which you'll notice we have two holes up here, which they are for your half inch fittings for your fill, which on this one we use this one for the fill, and we plug this one. So we'll cut an X out on this one for the, the fill. And then on this, this is for your domestic coil. Again, what we'll do there is we'll trim that out along the, the seams here. Oh, wait a minute here. Oh, it's still, it's still doing, no, it quit. Shut off on me on the, uh, with a low battery. Jesus Christ.